What up my dudes, it's E and welcome back to finally the third episode of The Walking Dead, the final season. It's been a hot minute. I'm pretty sure this was supposed to be released sometime in December, but they got some delays shit going on. But it's finally here, and let's without further ado, let's just get straight into it. While searching for a place to call home, AJ and I found an old boarding school run by kids deep in the forest. Their leader was a guy named Marlin. And AJ pulled the trigger. I told AJ that what he'd done was murder, that he'd have to atone for it. The other kids agreed. They voted to kick us out. I mm -hmm. thought we'd never return. Then, AJ and I were attacked by Abel, one of the raiders Marlin had given the twins to. He was with someone I thought I'd never see again. Lily. We were almost eaten by walkers, when suddenly, one of them spoke to me. His name was James, an ex-whisperer who didn't believe in killing walkers. He helped me treat AJ, but without real medicine, he wouldn't make it. The kids didn't turn away the sad sight of AJ, and let us back inside. After I told them how we could defend the school against the raiders, they were willing to let us stay. At least, until the fight. I decided to help Violet in the bell tower. We looked at the stars together. And I admitted I had feelings for her. Oh, she felt then, the same voice. way. Then the raiders finally came. They busted open our gates, but the kids stayed hidden as planned. Until Ten ran out of cover, hoping for a chance to learn about his missing sisters. The bomb went off, and attempting to save Ten... Mitch threw himself at Lily and got a knife to the throat. With only a second to decide, I fired and saved Violet. They got away with three of our friends, and we had no idea where they'd gone. But we knew someone who did. Here we go. Next morning, I'm assuming. <laughs> I forgot more than half of these people's names, so that's my my bad. so little and, and Mitch looked after me people said he was a dick sometimes but he was always nice to me it. now he's gone stabbed in the eye by some asshole who never even knew his name look I promise you, Willie, the people who did this, we're going to hit them back. They're gonna regret ever coming near us. Hold it. If Mitch were here, he wouldn't cry. He'd find a way to get our friends back. And bash Lily's brains out with a rock. Hey, AJ's waiting for you in the basement. We got Abel tied up tight. He's alive, but he's out cold. Thanks. We should bury Mitch. It's time. I'll help you carry- Get away from him! <laughs> You're the reason he's dead! Really? Shit. Well, it's true! We had a plan, and that idiot messed it up! Cut it hey! Out. Cut that shit out! Someone's gotta say it! He's 
what everyone's thinking. Oh, Ten. Calm, calm down, my boy. I'll take care of this. Talk Full to April. Find right out now. where Lily took Lewis, Omar, and a sim. And Clem, don't be afraid to, you know, hurt him a little. Maybe you'll get more out of him than we did. Oh, trust. Mm -hmm. That look. Should be strong enough to hold him. Brody. He's my dog now. Best girl achievement. Got your gun back, huh? Uh huh. No bullets, though. Still want dibs? It's different like this, with them all broken. But I still hate them. <sighs> Ready? Yeah, water, right? <laughs> what the fuck? Well, it ain't no way to wake an old man up from his afternoon nap. I was having a nice dream, too, about a girl I used to know from before. She also had me tied up, but I wasn't her prisoner if you get my meaning. <laughs> you got any water? Other than what you already dumped on me? I mean... Drink. You got mm. good manners, Squirt. Don't mind if I do. I don't really drink. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> You've had your water. Now it's time to talk. It's the first time interrogating someone, isn't it? <laughs> you let me dictate the agenda. Makes me think you're weak. Don't make this harder than it needs to be, okay? I just want to know where Lily took my people. It doesn't matter. As soon as she gets there, she's going to turn around and come right back for me. <laughs> you better give me the five-star treatment. If I'm smiling when she gets here, you might be able to trade me for a little mercy. We underestimated you little shits, but I'm gonna go hardcore Lily here, my boys. Won't make the same mistake twice. She'll be back. Trust me. You aren't gonna do that. You don't have it in you. Do I not know? <laughs> Psycho! Just tell us where they took our friends so we can get them back. <laughs> Lily will never give them up. The only reason we came here was for more manpower. Losing Jonathan and me. Three sprouts that can barely hold a gun. Even a dummy like me can do the math on that one. We're gonna get him back. You don't know what it's like out there. It's a bloodbath. One community against another. From Richmond to the coast. Back at the Delta, we're at war. With some really sick fucks who make me look like the Virgin Mary. We need people to fight it. Soldiers who do what we say. Point the guns the way we tell them to. You little turds are supposed to be easy pickings. 
That's called kidnapping. Give it whatever name you want. I call it survival. What kind of place is this Delta if they use forced labor to defend it? You think we like doing raids like this? Our home is under well, threat. We do. It's a good home. Built to last. I do a lot to protect it. Maybe you can understand that. And I do a lot to get my friends back. So stop wasting my time. Okay. Front pocket. I answered all your questions. Read it. Whatsoever parteth the hoof and is cloven footed, and cheweth the cud among the beasts that shall ye eat. What the fuck? Is this code? No, it's fucking Leviticus. I was hoping it'd be some timely moralistic shit about turning the other cheek. Well, come on. That thing ain't gonna light itself. Wanna know where your friends are? Smoke will clear my mind. Help me remember stuff. Like where Lily went. Uh, Come on, kid. About Don't him. make me wait all day. <laughs> you little bitch! I'm out of patience, Abel. Tell me where Lily went. Yeah. Now! <coughs> uh, <laughs> The That's fun. a lot of blood. Oh, yeah. Fuck. This is not good. He's gonna die, isn't he? Mm. We have medicine. We can still patch him up. I don't think so. When you pushed me off that balcony, something must have burst inside of me. <laughs> no medicine can fix this. So when I punched him, is that what really gave its toll? I never wanted things to end like this. Everything. It all got out of hand. Now look at me. I'm a fucking mess. Will he turn? No. <laughs> My, my whole life, everything I ever got, I got with my own two hands and my will for my body to turn on me, to take control. I'll tell you where to find Lily. Just promise you won't let me turn. I'm begging you. Sure, why not? If you're honest with me, I'll put you out of your misery. You have my word. Okay, we have a boat. We're docked a few miles west of here at an old fishing pier. Your friends are on the boat. <laughs> you, you got what you wanted. Please, don't let me become one of those things. Please, I don't want to turn. Yeah, I'll kill him. Why not? Just fucking kill him. I should have killed him a long time ago. Not that. I want to let me keep my face. Something's gonna happen. Hmm. You don't need to watch this. I want to. Something's gonna happen. Some she's gonna happen. He's gonna break it. No? Okay. I get the habit that every time it points the arrow, I flick my mouse thinking that's what I have to do when that's not what I have to do. I just have to... At A least he can't it. hurt anyone anymore. Yeah. <laughs> I 
I kind of had to for something. This guy, sh I should have let him die like a long time ago, though. Come on, we have a boat to find. And opening credit scene thing. Once we find the boat, we'll look for a way to sneak on board. Yeah, if Ten doesn't fuck it up this time. Little chill, my boy. It wasn't Ten's fault. Yes, it was. Mitch died because he... Say one more thing about Ten. I dare you. Guys, look. Look out for you, Violet. Keeping it chill. Big ass boat. You see anything? The beach, um, a boat, and a, a wood street in the water. That's called a pier. Hmm. Pier. Okay, let's spread out and focus on those areas. Keep your heads low. Direction I choose, or yeah, AJ already did, so I guess my recording is going fine. Have you ever seen this boat before? No, Marlin kept us confined to the safe zone. Pier leading up to the boat, it's our only way in and out. Well, let's see what else is down there. There are a few on deck. Couple others on the pier. Could be more inside. Looks like they're well armed too. You have a bow and arrow. Wait, I see Lewis. Abel wasn't lying. This is it. Mm. The pier has plenty of cover on it. If we're careful, we can sneak in undetected. No good cover leading up to the boat. We're gonna need one hell of a distraction. Walker! Well, the walkers are suddenly there now. They're probably taking a nap behind the rock. Maybe if we could get walkers on the beach somehow. Maybe not as hard as you'd think. Walkers around. I don't see any obvious place to keep prisoners. They're probably below deck. We should have asked Abel. When he said on a boat, I didn't think it'd be this big. True. I was expecting something smaller too. That's why I, I want to say this. Get on the I boat. I saw that too. The fuck? It looks like there's a door at the other end. There's a small opening at the top of those closed doorways. AJ and I know how to deal with those. AJ? Where is AJ? I don't see AJ. Uh, I'm gonna talk to him, I guess. Anything useful? Looks like building material. Furniture. Probably stuff from the train station. Again, I'm looking at shit. Okay. Mouse sensitivity is a bit high. Sheet metal, wood, and quite a bit of it. We should have that stuff. Huh. Are those torches? Maybe. Why? We could use the fire. It's a bit weird. They're loading those rafts with supplies. I could cut those loose and just ride them down river. Easy. All right. Those are options. Where's AJ at? See you around here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, there he is. 
find anything over here. They have horses. Let me see. Probably the horses that they used to get over there. More torches. More torches. Setting the hay on fire would get their attention. Scare the horses too. We could get on the boat easier that way. If we cut those horses free, we could slow down anyone trying to chase us. Okay. Seeing all. An achievement. We should get out of here before they spot us. We can talk through the plan once we're somewhere safe. so casually what's the plan well they've got guards posted on the pier and the boat there's no way we can take them all at once our only hope is to distract them while we sneak on board we should burn their stuff that work we could burn the supplies or the hay they keep for the horses whatever we don't burn we should take ruby would love to have the horses but i'd rather steal those supplies i could build traps Weapons. Burn the supplies. Mm. We'll take the horses and the hay if we can. Ruby yeah, help with that. She's like a horse whisperer. The fire will be more will worried about away from the boat. The supplies and we can than sneak hay, across the pier. If anyone sees us, they'll shoot. You remember that guy I told you about, James? He sent in walkers to save us from Lily and Abel. Maybe we could convince him to do it again. If we lead a big enough group of them onto the beach, we can blend in without being seen. Get an idea there. Perfect. What about after we get everyone home? I mean, the raiders will just come attack us again. What then? Hide, quick! Oh, shit. Gotta stop flicking my mouse. A raider. Cringing her face you all so stay hard. Here. I'll see if they know anything that could help us. Okay. Drop it. you are there how many of who I'm not fucking around answer the question eight there's eight Clementine wait what the fuck is your problem that, you it's many one of the sisters dude Oh, she's fucking After huge. After the attack, I wasn't sure. I mean, I heard they burned half your school down. Who survived? Ruby? Mitch? Brody? Ten? Ruby and Ten made it. Mitch didn't. And Brody, um... She died. Ten's boots holding up okay? His boots? They're so old, they're more holes than rubber. I duct taped him up the last time I saw him, but that was a while ago. His boots are fine. You're Clementine. The girl who took over after Marlin died. It's weird. I thought everyone would want to lean on their own. Not the new kid. Violet's the one in charge. Really? The Violet I knew could barely stand to talk to people. Let alone play vice like president. I think I just threw one of the... Possibly. You were the one who convinced the school to fight back. From where I'm standing, that puts you in charge. Your leadership is going to get my little brother killed. Excuse me? Abel figured he could top Marlin into handing everyone over like he and Lily did. Like they did before. 
You ruined the whole plan. What the hell? He gave you and Sophie away. Yeah, and we all survived it. Marlin would have never made them fight the way he did. He wouldn't have gotten people killed. Minnie, you're wrong. Glenn protected us. Yeah. And how come so many people are dead? He wouldn't have gotten people killed. He murdered Brody. What? Where's Sophie? Is she alive? She... She died protecting the Delta. A hero. A hero? God, you... Minerva! Shit. Rockingham! Finish up and head back. I want to be in really. before dark. Yes, ma'am. Our boat leaves for the Delta in two days. Then it'll be a couple of weeks before we can come back for the rest of you. When we do, don't fight. The only way you're going to save your people is to let us take them. I'm serious. Don't fight this. If Ten could see you now, he'd be ashamed to call you his sister. Yeah, run away, bitch. Are you okay? Nothing's changed. Our plan is to get onto the boat and save our friends. So that's what we're gonna do. You all should head home. Start getting things ready. Get everyone caught up on the plan. Everyone except Ten. I warned you. Enough, both of you. AJ and I will go find James. Good luck. So, how many walkers do you think James will help us get? Fifteen? A hundred? A thousand? Clem, I don't... Ow. Gunshot wound. It feels like someone pinched me from inside. Here, let's rest a second. I'm, uh, I keep thinking. When Willie said all that stuff about Tin before, I got so mad. He was being mean, and Tin wasn't even there to defend himself. I wanted to hurt him. I know I shouldn't, but I just can't stop thinking about it. I want to just punch his head. I tried breathing, kicking rocks. I don't like this feeling. Wanting to hurt somebody. Sometimes staying focused on what I'm doing helps me forget when I'm angry. Just, uh, think about saving our friends or... Yeah, I know. I'm trying. Right now it's just different. I can't make my brain switch to thinking about that. Like, I think... I think I'm mad at Tin, too. Running out of cover when Lily attacked the school was really stupid. But he just doesn't know stuff like we do. And then Willie started yelling at him instead of helping him learn. Why don't the other kids know all the stuff we know? When there's a plan, you have there. to follow it. And when you yell at someone, it just makes them not listen. Well, the other kids haven't had it as hard as we've had. We had to make a lot of mistakes to learn what we know. Yeah. I guess, but Tin's mistakes are just so bad. Maybe he'll learn from them too, like we did. 
It's weird that people are so different. <laughs> it is Ericsson's boarding school for troubled youth. Troubled youth? Trouble like bad? So they did bad things? Why? <sighs> okay, um, sometimes they do them because bad things happen to them. I knew a doctor once, back when you were just a baby. He called it trauma. You have some too, you know. The thing where people can't walk up behind you. I don't like my trauma. I want to <laughs> get it off of me. How do I get rid of it? I don't even like the way the word sounds. Uh, it doesn't work like that. It's too deep down inside you. It never goes away. That sucks. But you can resist it, just like anger. I still like them. I like Tin the most, I think. Even if he does dumb things. Actually, I think he's my first real friend. Oh yeah? I thought I was your first real friend. Well, yeah, but you don't count. You're old. <laughs> Am not. Fine. He's my second first real friend. Fine, hum is. See James, just monsters. <clears throat> James. Oh. You hurt. Did the Raiders do this? It looked like they had people from your school. Why are you here? Those people you saw, we're going to save them. But to do that, we need your help moving some walkers. Maybe help, but my mask is still in the camp, inside my bag. I can't pass through a herd without it. Okay, no. let's go get it. Please, I just... I just ask that you don't kill them, the walkers. If you distract them, I can sneak over and find my mask. Distract all of them? Please. I'll... I'll try. You know, the whispers they believed in, uh, the world belongs to walkers.
AJ, are you okay? Yeah, no bites. I know it would have been easier to kill them. You're kind. I appreciate it. Really. Mercy. That's an achievement. Thank you for helping me get this back. Now, how will Walker save your friends? They're being held captive on a boat not too far from here. We can't sneak on board without cover, not without the raiders gunning us down. You want to use walkers to hide? To sneak on board their ship? That's insane. It's our only chance. I... I have something I need you to see. So you can understand what you're asking. James! We still need his help, right? Yeah, we do. It's safe. Just a little further. Full of walkers or something. Just making sure I'm not lagging. Well, I am lagging here, but stream is like not stream, recording. Is it lagging? My people, my former people, they had a practice. They called it collecting. them as a weapon. I do this to protect them. I know it sounds strange, but that's why I brought you here. To see them as I do. As people. As like people? Crucial. Well, not people exactly, but <sighs> something in between. Part of us is still in there. Mm. Deep down. So few of us die anymore. We turn. Not dead, not alive. I wish I could see it that way. It'd be nice to think that everyone isn't actually gone. In a way, they're just lost. Mm. Do you really think there's people inside of monsters? Somewhere. Yes. Think about it this way. Has someone you cared about turned? Clem's friend, Lee. She shot him before he did. So he wouldn't have to suffer. Sorry. Maybe this wasn't the best way to explain. Didn't mean to bring up difficult memories. I lived among walkers for years. Still do, in a way. When they're alone... They're harmless. Innocent. If you they want my help, food to eat. I need you to try and walk with them. Then tell me if you really believe they're just monsters. Well, I they technically are have. just monsters. They're not people or friends. Clem. She'll be safe, I promise. This isn't smart. It's too dangerous. She just needs to move as they do. If it gets bad in there, I'll need you to save me, okay? Can you do that? I... Yes. I'll always protect you. Technically did. When I got out of that hotel with will. Lee, technically I was walking among them. Oh, 
But I think you just need more than just a mask, the don't you think? The rule is never go alone. I'm not leaving you. I'll be right back. Find the exit. I will. Don't let fear take over. I will. I promise. The mask will disguise your scent, but be gentle and be quiet. Why? Touch the wind, people, they, won't, they won't hit me, right? You'll see. I'm not gonna take off my hat. I guess, guess not. Go forward, right? Fuck, that one has red eyes. <sighs> Is the wind chime? The look of death. Whoa, hey there, kiddo. It's all right, I'm fine. See? No bites. No bites. So, do you still think they're just monsters? Now that you've seen them at peace, any different at all? I'm not so sure, I, dude. I think you might be right about there being something more to them. It was kind of nice in there. Really? I never met someone who understood. It's... Thank you. I'm glad. Have you ever killed a walker before? I have. Many. Have you ever killed a person? Many. But that was a long time ago. I've killed someone before too. AJ. You've killed someone? Yeah. Let me bring this up now, my boy. I'm a murderer. But I'm trying to atone. Well, that's good. I guess. <sighs> that's enough. What about the walkers? Are you going to help us save our friends? I, I thought I could, but I can't. So many walkers would die. Yeah, I figured. Oh, the death this would cause. I'm sorry, Clementine, but I can't have more blood on my hands. You saved AJ and me because you said you didn't want us to become soldiers. What makes it okay this time? They're going Killing to make walkers? all our friends into killers. He's really more violence, now, more death. And you could have stopped it. I may be stubborn, but I'm not heartless. To the walkers. Those raiders are cruel. They force others to be the same. 
And if your friends are anything like you, I don't doubt they're worth saving. I just gave a nice call. It'll take some time to guide waters. them through the forest to the shore. Others will join the herd as they go. Tomorrow night, be ready. I can't undo this. There might be people inside walkers. Did you mean it? Is he right? Shh. Let me just. Well, we can't know for sure. Maybe he's right. Death might not be like we thought before the world turned like this. Maybe something is left after we die. Oh, that sounds weird. But if you believe it. I do too. Come on, AJ. Let's get back before it's too dark. Do, 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 do. I've never met anyone like James before. Yep. Ain't I mean, do. he's tough. Not like you, though. He doesn't kill monsters, but he's not scared of them either. He's cool. Hey, Clem. Willie told me the plan. How'd things go with that guy? James, he agreed to help us. If somebody told me we were gonna sneak onto a boat and a herd of walkers, I'd have called them crazy. What are you doing with those? Oh, well, I wanted to throw one last hoot in Annie before the big fight. Swear? Huh? It sounds like a swear. Not a swear. What is hootenanny? What the hell is a hootenanny? <laughs> <laughs> it's just another way of saying party. Mm. I know it sounds strange, throwing a party, but people need something to lift their spirits right about now. This could be our last chance. Mm. I wanted to make some tea for everyone. Could I borrow your little heater thing? What can I do? We need to pretty up the old music room. Could you make us something colorful to hang up? Okay, I'll be an artist. I'm gonna make the deck, uh, uh, the decor, decoration, a decoration for the party. Okay, I'll get the heater. I'm gonna get attacked again. Well, she did say we'd get attacked in like a couple of days or something like that. I don't, I don't recall what she said. Get attacked, something. I'm done, Clem. Come see. Okay. Already. Right there. She uh, is there anything I could put on my little, uh, wall thing? I have to collect things in the wild, but couldn't really collect anything because I was getting chased by walkers the whole time. Hey, you're getting better at this. Soon you'll be as good an artist as Ten. I don't know. He's really good. Something wrong? AJ? I was just thinking about stuff while I was drawing. There are three kind of eyes, Clem. Hmm. Oh, yeah? There are live people eyes. We got those. Then there's monsters' eyes. They usually look like dirty water. Other times, monsters' eyes aren't even wet. And then there are live people eyes right as you kill them. Like you did to Abel. His, his eyes look like you blew a candle out. He was a bad guy. I know I shouldn't feel like this. I hated him, too. I think there's something wrong with me. Some things are hard to look at. Difficult and messy to take in. 
But you can't let any of that make you soft. Okay? Hard, but still good where it counts, right? Right. We're still good where it counts. I'm getting real smart. <laughs> Is that right? Yes, because I'm always thinking all the time. Okay, what are you thinking about right now? You getting bit, turning into a monster. Oh. Yeah, the older I get, the more I see it. I don't know why. So what mean. happens then? Anyone can get bit. Doesn't matter if you're inside or outside or how careful you are. That's not happening. You don't know that. Well, yes, I do. No, Fuck I don't. Clementine. But it won't happen anytime soon. You don't know that either. You're just trying to be brave for me. It does something weird to my stomach. Like I'm gonna get the dookies. AJ, I need to know you remember what we talked about. What you're supposed to do if it happens. Listen to me. If I get bit, you'll... Hmm. Go out like we, but boys. Shoot. No. No, I'm not gonna do that. AJ, you promised. I don't care. I'm not gonna shoot you. If you get bit, I'd want you to bite me too. What? It doesn't work like that. You don't mean that. I want to be alone. Please don't be mad. I can't live with you not with me, Clem. I know we've talked about it so much, but don't make me. Alvin Jr., you know you're not supposed to talk like this. You're too strong and too brave. I don't think I am anymore about this. Yes, you are. You are, okay? <sighs> you can't break promises, AJ. I know. You're not letting this go, are you? James said... <sighs> Guess not. That we could be around when we're monsters. Like on the inside. If you got bit and then bit me, then maybe we'd still be together. It would just be a different together. We might even be okay. You think so? Let's no, no. say James might be right. That monsters have part of the person they were still inside them. The thing is, no one can prove that. And if we can't prove it, we're not going to risk our lives over it. Can I go patrol for a bit? Before the party? Sure, go ahead. Be careful. He ran away. My boy. What's with AJ? He just... Needs some space. Can we talk about what happened today? With Minnie? Yeah, sure. What's wrong? The thing is, seeing Minnie, I feel like it should have scared me, but it didn't. The person we ran into in the woods, that wasn't Minnie. Not really. The way she sounded and acted, the way she talked about Sophie and Lily, I'm... I'm confused, I guess. She is one of them now. You know you can't trust her, right? She's been with those people for over a year. It sucks, but I don't know what else I expected. Minnie? The real Minnie. She's gone. She's been gone this whole time, and I... have to stop mourning her. I won't let her take you or AJ. Or anyone else I care about. Lewis knows when to keep his head down. Yeah, shit. Well, I, I, I hope so. You know, when I first got here, I hated him. He was so much. You know, he walks into a room and it's like, Look at me, watch me perform. It's so stupid. But then I realized under all that, he... He really cares about people. And he doesn't just feel it. He says it. 
will tell you every goddamn day how much you mean to him. Shit, he'll probably sing about it. Especially if there's already a famous song with your name in it. We've got to get him back. We will. Louis Omar Asim. We'll get them all back. Um, I made you this. F. Stars. So you never forget that night. I oh, never will. She will. When you told me you had feelings for me, I was shocked. I was shocked. Then I started an thinking. There's something I've always wanted to try with someone I cared about, and I never have. What is it? Have you ever danced with anyone before? <laughs> nope. Do you... wanna? Just us. No one else around. I mean, I know it's kinda weird, but it's... something I've always wanted to try. Why not? Both dirty as shit. Oh, I have a feeling she's gonna die so hard in my voice. Thanks for the dance. Yeah, we're getting better at being romantic. <laughs> yeah. Now it's awkward as she. What the heck? <laughs> wow. I'm not ready Where for that. did you find a beach ball? It was in some garbage behind one of the dorms. I had to blow it up and that was pretty gross. But look, it works. <laughs> I should get going. Ruby he could probably blew some into help. that. My boy has some super lungs due to do that. It's cool, right? Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> Back. <laughs> You're terrible. Hey. I enjoy being a kid. I love you, Clem. I love you back, love kiddo. I love you too, AJ. <sighs> okay, we better get ready to go. Sounds like they need us in the music room. Okay. <laughs> Looks like things are coming together. Yeah, we still need to figure out lighting, music, and something to write on that banner. If we're gonna die, we should have some fun first. Music? But Lewis isn't here. See that? <laughs> it's like Lewis in a box. Come on, I'll show you how it works. Hmm. Are we using the banner for some kind of party theme? Hmm, not exactly. It's meant to be more motivational. I'd keep Let's it short, though. There's not as much room as you think. I was thinking something uplifting, like, we're gonna get through this. Straight and to the point. We're getting them back. Yeah, we sure are. Okay, we'll have Ten break out his paintbrush and ride it out. So you take one of those black things that look like plates, and you put it on here. Wouldn't be a party without some kind of mood lighting. I've been going back and forth between colors for ages. Green's calming, but purple might be nice. Rim gets natural moonlight, so something to compliment that, maybe? Just leave it to me, then. But don't be surprised if it's green. I I'll make it green. happen. 
Please tell me I did pick green. Fuck. Uh, can I not pick green? Fuck it. Whatever. Pulled out the old headmaster's gramophone hmm. so he could play some records. Not much of a selection, but it should do. Just tell me what you want to listen to. Uh. Classical. You guys have any classical? You bet. This place is gonna look great. Oh, and Willie was asking for you. He's up in Marlin's office. He said he had a surprise for the party, but he wanted to show it to you first. Mm, Willie. You're not in the right place in the mine right now, dude. Let's see what you got. Hey, Clem, check it out. I found a bunch of books on ships. There's some awesome stuff about fires at sea and explosions and stuff. The key is the boiler. Wait, what are you talking about? I have an idea about how to stop those assholes coming back to the school after we've rescued the others. And from hurting anyone else ever again. We're gonna blow up the boat. It's the only way to make sure they don't come back. Besides, it feels right, you know? For Mitch. Nice. Oh, Mitch. Mitch would love this plan. I know, it's perfect. I can't think of a better memorial than to blow that boat out of the water. The tricky bit is timing the explosion so that it happens after you get off the boat. Trust me, this'll work. We'll be okay. Okay, everybody, get ready to boogie. And, um, Clem? I'm sorry for before, about how I treated Ten. I didn't mean to get so angry. I know it's not his fault. That's nice, Willie, but don't tell me. Tell Ten. Tell him you're sorry. Looks great, Ruby. Couldn't have done it without you. But just wait till you see what else I've got planned. Go ahead and mingle. I'll let you know when it's time. Mingle. I guess I'll mingle. I see you two are working together. Yeah, Willie asked me to help with his special project. Well, that's good to hear. Is it ready? Good to go, Clem. It'll work. So quick. Actually, uh, I was thinking maybe we should name it. Something cool. I mean, I think it deserves a name. All the best bombs have names. Yeah, we absolutely have to name it. I thought you'd make fun of me, but hell yeah. Let's name this fucker. Hmm. Let's name it after you, Ruby. Yeah? Hell yeah, Ruby's Revenge. Goddamn right. I didn't want to mention Mitch. Yeah, they found that kind of creepy. They saw the look on their face. <laughs> I found them. Okay, Clementine. These here are our official Erickson psych evaluations and probationary reports. Okay. I don't get it. Well, these explain why all of us got sent to this school in the first place. And all the bad shit mm -hmm. we did that kept them from sending us back home. So, what's the game? I figured if we're all going on this crazy mission together, we might as well know who we really are. So, I'll read some of what the adults thought about us. And you have to guess which one of us fits the bill. I'll make oh, sure it's someone you've actually met. This'll be the first one. While otherwise a remarkable student, blank continues to be plagued by fits of anger, uncontrollable cursing, and repeated physical altercations with the senior faculty. She. 
I don't know. Take that. Violet. It's being aggressive. Uh. That's gotta be Violet. Nope. Way scarier. That's Ruby's file. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? Guilty really? as charged. Yeah. Man. You should have seen Ruby back in the early days. But not she was like expected a, her. You ever seen those Tasmanian devil cartoons when you were a kid? <laughs> that was our Ruby. He used to have a mean streak a mile long. <laughs> Don't worry. That was a long time ago. I mean, I can totally see it. <laughs> the first time I met Ruby, she was all, That little motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I said I was sorry. <laughs> you guys want to know why I got sent here? Willie, please, no. Chronic masturbation. Trust me. <laughs> Nobody wanted to know that. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, no. Fuck. No, uh -uh. no. You, Don't you no. dare. No. 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 Oh, no, Ted. He's uh, confused anyway, as shit. Anyway, <laughs> maybe we should change up the music? I like all kinds of different music, I think. There's a lot of them. How many? I don't know. A lot. Sure, we've heard enough of this. Break out the jazz. How many of us we lost? Ah, uh, shit. Remember that Justin guy? And Theresa and Jasper. That one girl with colored braces. And Joey, Maddie, Lamar. Aaron. Mm. Yeah, I used to make fun of her braces. Why did I do that? Alex, Dewey, Trey. Oh, okay. Stephanie. Stop, stop naming everyone. Holy crap. How many of us died? 34. Well, she. She's all depressed now. Whose is it? Lewis. Should we read it? I could tell you why I was sent here instead. You know, as a consolation prize or whatever. You might hate me after, but since we're all being so open and all. I was hoping you'd tell me. I spent a lot of time at my grandma's house growing up. What with my dad being a drunk and my mom working three jobs. But after my grandpa died, grandma just kind of shut down. Spent all day and night rocking in her little chair in the den. I'd sit there at her feet as we both watched TV. Mostly cartoons since she never seemed to care. Sometimes I could hear her crying, but I didn't look back. I just feel really weird and turn up the volume, you know? The music kind anyway, of faded one out. Anyway, she left the den and came back with another chair and a 22 rifle. Set the rifle butt on the top of the chair, holding the barrel back to her chest. So, you know, she had trouble reaching the trigger this way, but she must have known it would happen because she took out this really tacky wooden back scratcher. The real long kind with the one end shaped like a hand. And uh, used that to push the trigger in. So well. yeah, bang, right? Her body folded up and just kept rocking. She My mom came to get me five hours later. I hadn't moved. She asked why I didn't call the police or an ambulance or anything. I just shrugged and told her it wasn't like Grandma was going anywhere. And besides, I just wanted to finish my cartoons. Well, shit, my boy, fuck. Some dark ass shit. She shipped me off to Erickson the next day. I was 11. Yeah, 
That's kind of fucked. I'm so sorry, Violet. I can't imagine what that was like. What you went through. It's fine. We've just been through a lot of shit. Well, we yeah. weren't good people, Clementine. But it still doesn't mean that we should have been left here to die by the people that were supposed to take care of us. Sorry. This is supposed to be fun. I'm... I'm just not the game type, like Lewis was, I guess. You mean is. We'll see him soon. Ten's right. Yep. Hey, I've got an idea. Do you guys remember when Minnie would sing us Don't Be Afraid when all of us used to get scared? Too bad I can't play it. Lou would have known, huh? He liked that one. You could just sing it to us, like she used to. Your voice is really pretty. Okay. Okay, yeah. All right, I, uh... I can do that. She really does have a nice voice. Never mind the storm. Never mind the blood red moon. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. Me and AJ are just chilling. Wow. Oh no, AJ's looking tears. concerned too. Sing away your heavy heart. The night will be over soon. The night will be over soon. For every night goes quiet And every moon grows blue Beyond the dark comes something new The sun will be rising soon the sun will be rising soon. The sun will be rising soon. Really nice song there. Oh no, flashback. My boy Lee. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't bring him back. Oh, my boy Lee. Hey, oh. sweet pea. My boy Lee. Lee. Oh, my boy Lee. My boy. Why the train? You always pick the train. I'm not sure. Maybe because this is where it all started. Oh, and the graphics look I so nice. Me to shoot and to cut my hair. To be ready for what was coming. Uh, you were a quick study. So, what's on your mind this time? I'm worried, Lee. I've got a lot of people depending on me. And I don't know if what I'm doing is right. Oh, I know that feeling. You know, I was uh, making it all up as I went along, right? Couldn't let on, of course. With you being so little. I never noticed. It 
just felt like you always knew the right thing to do. Yeah? Well, I got lucky. Luck counts for a lot. I'm gonna need some now. You wanna tell me about what you're up against? I'm with a new group now. And I've been in so many. And they always fall apart. But I really like this one. It's different. It almost feels like home. That's a good thing. It's hard being alone out there. But we're in trouble. Some bad people captured my friends. And getting them back might get the rest of us killed. I'm not worried. What? Whatever trouble you're in, you get out of it. You get your friends out of it. You don't know that. I know you're a survivor. The Clementine I know is gonna fix it. I really believe that. You're right. I just needed to hear you say it. I'm going to get my friends out of this. Every one of them. Alive. That's right. Imagine what Lewis is gonna say when he sees your face. Those boys are gonna have hope again knowing that you came to rescue them. <sighs> oh, sweet pea, you know you always get like this before something big. Remember how scared you were before you charged into that mess at McCarroll Ranch? You survived that, didn't you? That was different. I was alone. I know. It's harder when you have something to lose. But having people you care about, that's a good thing. Friends. A girl. Who loves you? They're fighting beside you. Because of you. Come see me again. When you've gotten them out, okay? Out. And safe. Sound good? And hopefully we can talk about happier things. If you know of any. Lee, I miss you so much. I wish really you do, were really though. here. I miss you too, Clementine. But we'll have to make do with pretending. Thank you, Lee. Talking to you always makes me feel a little bit better. meant to ask. How's the boy? He's good, Lee. You'd like him. I bet. You teach him to shoot yet? <laughs> you have no idea. I guess the world got pretty hard since I left it. A kid growing up in it, he'd be hard too. You're in my shoes now, raising a kid. Oh, don't say that. I don't want to die like you. <laughs> uh, it can't be easy. Wanting to give him a childhood, but knowing what it takes to survive now. It was easier for me since the world was just changing. But you're living in one that's changed completely. You doing okay? EJ's amazing, Lee. I've taught him to be strong and brave and capable. He'd be so proud. You mean more than I already am?
got people that need you. Goodbye, Lee. Clem, wake up. It's time to go. We got a long walk. We're really doing this. Only the team blending in with the walkers need to cover themselves. Now we just need your walker friend to... He's here. Good lord. Uh, <laughs> hello. My oh boy, Hobbes. Guys, this is James. He's my friend. He's, uh, so cool. How do you get the skin like that? Uh, oh. I, um, Clementine? Can I try it on? That's not a good idea. Come on, please. Well, come on, give him some space. But I just want to... Not right now. Yeah, right. Sorry. I didn't mean to be weird or anything. It's okay. Oh, and sorry I tried to shoot you that one time. Your mask looks so real. I, uh, uh, hey... Hey there, James. Sorry about Willie. Is this the guy that Clem said she'd marry? Oh my god, <laughs> yeah. my boy, what oh, Clementine, the Clementine, what? could I speak to you alone for a moment? Good idea. Hold tight. Good thing I didn't say fuck. Hey, Tank, can you come talk for a sec? There's something I have to tell you. The walkers. They'll be here in a little while. You can join them as they pass through the trees. The noise from the boat will draw them toward the water. Then we can get on board and save our friends. Your friends are... different. Open-minded. Accepting. Like you. That's not usually how my first impressions go. Sorry, I feel like I'm rambling. It's just being welcomed. It's strange. That one boy called me cool. Not sure anyone's ever said that to me. You know, they could be your friends too. I know you didn't want to come into the school before, but now that you've met them... I haven't lived with people in a long time. But it does sound nice. Let me think about it. Hey, my boy Hobbes is joining. wanted to show you something. This is... was my boyfriend, Charlie. Oh, shit, he was... We joined the Whispers together. Apple pride, my boy. But it changed him. In a way that couldn't be undone. It changed both of us. What do you mean? The Whispers were my family. From a young age, in that time, I witnessed a lot of death and suffering. Eventually, I became the cause of it. Weakness was considered a poison, and I believed in that fiercely. So much so, that when another boy expressed sympathy for our enemy before an attack, I slit his throat. Oh my. I didn't talk to him, didn't consider who he was, what he felt. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even remember his name. All I knew was someone like him would only slow us down. That was What's enough of a reason for me. What's your point, James? After he died, I kept hearing his words in my head. 
Those people are like us, just on a different path. I stopped killing after that. I changed. No one else did. When AJ told me he killed someone, it reminded me of them. Of myself. He said it was wrong, but it sounded like he was just repeating what he'd been told. Taking life like that, from a young age, it breaks something inside you. It broke something in Charlie. I just... I'm afraid if AJ kills again, he won't be able to go back. He won't be the same boy he was. I've seen it happen too many times. I'm not going to let AJ become a killer. I don't want him to change. Not like that. I hope you can keep that promise. They're close. Soon there will be enough of them to provide us cover. I'll lead you through the herd until you reach the boat. That's as far as I go. After that, it's up to you. Oh boy, Hamas better not die. He better Thank not you. die. I swear, if my boy Hamas dies... Take care of AJ. I feel like he's gonna die now. Okay, he's ready to go. I basically let him straight. The walkers are getting death. close. Ruby, you're in charge of the horses. Willie, Ted, take care of the supplies. I've got the bomb. Find the boiler. There'll be a door on the bottom with ash and stuff. Put it in there. Ready? See you all on the other side. I'll cut it open. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Ten? Violet told me about Minnie. That Sophie died, and Minnie is one of them now. Just. If you see her out there, tell her, tell her I forgive her, please. I tell her myself, but I just want her to be okay. She won't listen. She won't listen to me, Ted. There's no way. So you won't even try? I would have done it for you. Ten. You can't, like, it's, this is like a us mission now. We can't try, like outside parties now we can't can't try and convince them in any way we just can't only Hamas Hamas is the only hey, exception it's time. you know we, we knew each move. other so he's a part of our group Clem what happens if someone else gets caught while we're in there what if it's you I couldn't save Minnie or Lou or the Sim, Omar. I, I, I really care about you, Clem. If something happened to you because of me, I'll be fine. I Is can't you lose you about? too. I won't. Oh, let's let them give them a kiss. Better not disappear on me, okay? Uh, I promise. I don't know. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Go look in another direction. Are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's bring our friends back home. All of them. All of them. It's ready. Ain't gonna go so, so smooth. I know this is gonna sound gross, but covering your smell. <laughs> Smart. F pay respects for my boy. Get my back.
Thanks. We gonna do it? We're doing it. Okay, follow my lead. Here we go. Walkers. Use them as shields. along the side of the dock. I hate myself sometimes. <laughs> Fuck, are you okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Close. After we find the 
boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said there were eight raiders, but we didn't see that many outside. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Right behind you. Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it? Say Jabate on it. Not only say Jabate. Hey, who's there? Fuck. Mm hmm. She. Thinking that's the instinct. Well, I didn't kill him. AJ didn't see that. You didn't see that, my boy. You didn't see that. I see hey, down on instinct. Gotta be the move boy my arm with the mouse. Yeah, it looks like it. That's where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in there. Maybe there's another way in. your name, Ruby's Revenge. Bury this thing in the bottom of the river. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour. Thirty minutes. Let's hurry up, then. Find your friends. I feel like there's stuff in that other room that I could probably get for my inventory sheet, but uh, I don't care right now. Minerva, focus. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. Sneak past her. Get out. Not without our people. I swear to God, if you got Tin caught up in this, just just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. He forgives you. Shit. <sighs> Shit. I'll help you get everyone out. Then you take my brother and run. Get him back to where it's safe. Come on, we have to hurry. 
did it, Ten. You happy for me now, bum boy? I did it. Clementine? Holy fuck! Oh my god, are you okay? He doesn't look hurt. I... Uh, yeah, I'm alright. We're alright. Take care of Louis first. He's... he's in rough shape. I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. What happened with Lewis? Violet, help me with these guys. Got it. Lewis, Lewis. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Please. Don't no. fucking point that at me. Don't you have to. Me. Wait, did he bait them? Did they just all bait us? Uh, huh? oh. The fuck happened Lewis. to you? It really was in bad shape. What did they do to you? No! No, no, don't! They, they, uh... They cut out his tongue. He just, uh... He kept fucking talking. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry, Louis. <laughs> Ever thought? Oh, my boy. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, fuck. You'll be home soon. The fuck happened to the rest of them? Escape forehead. We're not staying here that long. Looks like there's a gap here. <sighs> Too small to fit my hand through. I guess they captured her too. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! <sighs> Thank God. Shit. At least we're not moving yet. We've still got time to figure this out. Hmm. Talk to her first. Vi, are you all right? I'm fine. Looking for a way out. If this thing explodes... Well, she we all did. Talk to AJ. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it. They must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me. Or Lewis. Didn't think I'm gonna be able to hear him speak again. Hey! 
Whatever you doing, don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Fucking Lily. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! We showed him mercy. He was terrified of turning, so we stopped him from having to. We gave him what he wanted. <laughs> I'm sure you did. Back up. Sure. Minerva. Open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. Gonna kill. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organized these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family yeah, sitting in the family dark. Saying that. Well, I guess asshole runs in the family. Is that the consequence? That you're an asshole? The consequence is, I never left the lights on again. My father had his faults, but he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it the parable of the twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. They needed help fighting or they'd lose everything they built, their crops, their power, even their lives. They threatened to cut out their tongues? They only do that to the ones who can't keep their mouths shut. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, 
stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her Except sister to help her steal a raft and, and leave on the river. Case, something you gotta of course, do. they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. What the Jesus fuck? Jesus Christ. Minnie. No, tell me it's not true. Oh my. Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? What have you done to her head, you fucking psychotic bitch? You're evil! You are fucking evil! Y'all better back away from the door. All right, Lily. You made your point. I'll do what you want. What? No! You can't become a soldier in their army. Just don't hurt anyone else. Good. I'm surprised to hear you bend so easily. Sure. But as I said before, this isn't a negotiation. Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. The Stop! Fuck, Don't dude. hurt Violet, or I'll hurt you. Oh my hey, boy, yo, AJ. You better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck no! Get off of me! Oh my god. Easy. Fuck. Stay still. Shit. Fuck you now! Mm. Don't. Make this hurt more than it has to. She just breathe. Hey, Jay. Oh my God, it's shit, my boy. Son of a bitch. Stop. That's enough. He bit me. I said that's enough. Goodness, my boy, she. You deserve to die. I couldn't let her lose her we'll arm. We'll kill you. My God, AJ, shut you up! Think you can kill me? <laughs> I know I can. You shut up. We'll throw you in the river, and we'll put a knife right to the side of your head. Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are. Dang. So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Leave him alone. This is between us. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on. Let's go have a chat. Just us. Don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from here. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Oh, my fucking lanta. Don't, don't you dare look at me like that. This is the only way we survive. Who are you? Fuck survival! Look at what you're doing! Minnie, please. I just want to talk to you for a second. I'm sorry we never searched for you. For Sophie. I'm sorry we trusted that fucker Marlin. If I ever thought there was a chance. I know. I know. Okay? But Sophie's dead. You all need to understand. This is the only way! Lay down, stay in line, or you die! The people you love die! If you just do what they say, you can live! All of you! You can have a nice life! Be rewarded! I'm gonna ram this door, bitch. Just like I am. Here. 
scared. I won't let you get them all killed. Y'all gonna die anyway, dude. soon Maybe some conclusion to this no cliffhangers today There were so many walkers. Better not kill my boy Hamez. Must have thought you were clever leading those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say. You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? Force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <coughs> Kill it. No! Fuck! Oh, wow. My boy, Tennessee. Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath? All right. Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. You're gonna die. Fine. Go ahead then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. <laughs> no, Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please don't. No. <laughs> All right, everyone's contributing. Everyone's contributing. <laughs> Spacebar by accident. God damn it. Oh, I got a hit. Ah. Stop hitting spacebar, dude. God damn it. Talk to myself. Fucker, dude. You've made a big fucking 
You being a big fucking. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, she's taking it like a champion. Oh boy, Hama is still fighting strong. dies she's gonna take the knife out of her leg and stab him she's he's gonna die i knew it i fucking knew it James! son of a bitch son of a bitch should have killed him no fucking knew it Should have fucking killed her. Oh my god. Alright, I expected that. Yeah, I just let him play along with the thing. Man, I'm really with a large group of people right now. The Ringe Ruby. Yeah, I want I did want to bring up Mitch. That's why I didn't say that. Alright, next. Oh, she was gonna cut off. Her. I thought she was gonna cut off her fucking hand. Uh, yeah, but that AJ fight. Oh, he's so. It's so even. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, dude. She. Oh, my boy, Hamas. Oh, no. I fucking can't. What the heck is Maya? Maya. Oh, my goodness. Maya. I don't know. Rosie's worried about everyone. Oh, man. Sorry if I speak a little loudly because this music in the background is like really fucking loud. And I got probably cut it out in the edit too, so. I collected nothing, dude. N nothing. Fuck's sake, dude. There's no preview, I'm pretty sure. Alright. I always um, had to really cooperate. I, I just knew it. I didn't want AJ to be a fucking killer. I didn't want him to, but then if I had killed Lily, Hamez would have been upset because AJ would have killed again. But instead, Hamez, my boy, has to die. She, my boy. That's a big she. I think the next episode's coming out in like mid March, end of March, something like that. This was a good episode. Another good episode. The good job, Tintail, for another good episode. Oh, man, but that that was really I, I I saw it coming. I just saw it coming. I couldn't stop it. I could have if I just told AJ to kill Lily, but I didn't want him to kill. Uh, like I said, it's tough. But thank you all for watching. If you did, and I will see you around. I don't know what I'm gonna post next because I'm like in the middle of classes right now, so it's tough again. But hopefully, when I finish, I can upload a bit more random games, Madden, some some other shit. But yeah.
Hopefully you all did enjoy. I'll see you on the next one. Hmm. Bye.